In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the equilibrium constant from pH. The question reads, a 0 0.100 molar weak acid, and we're representing that as HA, where H is the proton and A represents the acid. Solution has a pH of 4.27. Find K sub A for the acid. We'll begin by using the relationship shown on your screen, where pH is equal to negative log times the hydronium concentration. The pH provided is 4.25. And that's equal to negative log of the hydronium concentration. We'll need this for later. We need to isolate for H3O plus. So I'll say H3O plus is equal to X, better than using this. We'll just write down X. First, we need to get rid of the factor of negative 1. That's being multiplied to log. So I'll divide both sides by negative 1, giving me negative 4.25 is equal to log of X. Now to isolate for x, I need to raise both sides of this equation as powers to the base 10. And the reason why I'm using the base 10 is because remember what log means. Log is a common log, meaning log of base 10. So by raising them as powers, this 10 and this log cancel out, leaving you with 10 raised to the power of negative 4.25 is equal to x. Let's use our calculator. 10 raised to the power of negative 4.25 gives us 5.6, and we need this to two significant figures because the pH was reported as 4.25. We only look at the amount of digits after the decimal place, and it's two digits after the decimal place. So this should be 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. That right there is the concentration of hydronium, and it's in molars. Now we're told that it's a weak acid, so we have HA combining with H2O liquid, and remember this is aqueous. This yields H3O plus, also aqueous, and it yields the conjugate acid as A minus. Think of it this way, this proton has been donated to water, it formed hydronium, and this lost a hydrogen atom. So it became negative. Now, forming an ice table, we have ICE, initial change and equilibrium concentration. We already know the concentration of hydronium. It's 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. And we can assume that since this is a weak acid, Notice we're told it's a weak acid. The concentration of H3O plus initially is really small, so approximately zero, and the concentration of the conjugate base is zero. Furthermore, we know that the weak acid has an initial concentration of 0 0.100, so I'll place that right here. And since H2O is a liquid, you may completely ignore it. Now, let's write down the equilibrium expression in reference to Ka. That's a comparison of the concentrations of the products, H3O plus, its concentration at equilibrium, times the concentration of A minus over the concentration of the reactants. We are looking for, remember, K sub A. We already have the concentration of H3O plus. We need the concentration of A minus and the concentration of HA at equilibrium. The next step is to start to fill in this table. And remember the relationship between I, C, and E. If you add up initial and change, you end up with E. And with that said, 0 plus 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5 is equal to the equilibrium concentration. So this should be 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And to find out the change for the other molecules, minus of course H2O, I create stoichiometric ratios comparing the different types of molecules. So here's a 1 to 1 ratio, therefore the change here also has to be 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And if I compare this molecule with HA, it's going to be the same because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but since we're comparing products to reactants, it will be negative 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. Now we can find out the expression 
for the equilibrium. I'll add up I and C for HA. We get negative 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5 plus 0 0.100. I'll add up 0 and 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now we have everything we need to substitute into this equilibrium expression. Let me show you what I mean. Starting with H3O plus, 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5, and that's being multiplied to the same thing. And now we'll divide this by this expression, negative 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 plus 0.1. This gives us a k sub a value of 3.13, and we need this to two significant figures. So 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 8, it's a unitless number, that right there represents k sub a. And there you have it. That is how to find the equilibrium constant from pH.